This is an example like problem number 25 from your textbook. So let's say we get a function f of x. And we're looking for um, any vertical asymptotes that you would see from, let's say, the secant of x. So what we want to know is when does the secant of x, when is it um, not defined? Well, if we rewrite this as f of x is equal to 1 over the cosine of x, then clearly when cosine of x equals 0, we've got, we've got an issue. So what you need to do is you need to be able to write down all of the all of the possible solutions for this. So your steps to do this problem, so this like I said, this is like number 25, would be to take your function, switch it, show me what you're trying to solve, okay, and then specifically, if we look at our unit circle, the cosine value, left right movement, is zero here and here. Okay, so this is at pi over 2, this is at 3 pi over 2, and multiples of those guys, okay, because remember there's an infinite amount of angles. So what we can do is we can say that this is going to have a vertical asymptote for all x's such that x is a real number, but additionally that um, x is going to be equal to multiples of pi over 2. I should say multiples of pi over 2. I should say um, multiples of 180 plus pi over 2. So it's equal to pi over 2 plus 180 degrees times k, where k isn't an integer. So what we're saying what this says right here is that if you start grabbing values for k that are integers, you'll always end up at one of these two points. So, for example, let's say k was 3. Well, if k is 3, then x equals pi over 2 plus 3 times pi. So that'd be pi over 2 plus 6 pi over 2, which is 7 pi over 2. And so if we think about where that is, um, here's pi over 2, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, these are all over 2, 6 pi, 7 pi over 2. So 7 pi over 2 is going to fall. It's coterminal with 3 pi over 2. So that's one of the guys. If you take any k value, any integer, remember the integers are negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. 0, 1, 2. If you grab any of these guys here and you plug it in, you'll be at one of these spots where cosine is 0. So how should your solution look um, is what you're asking. And so if you had written this down, this is your actual solution. This is what you'd write on the line. But if you'd shown this work here, especially these top steps here, that's what I'm looking for. This isn't really a proof problem per se. This is just trying to show that what you're writing down is correct. And the reason that on a lot of people's homework that I, I marked this wrong when you just put just this guy down was because that's exactly what was in the back of the book. So I wanted to see some work that you were understanding where the um, how you ended up with that solution.